The Issue Manager is used to enter and organize project progress notes and release dates. The information can be different on each sheet, depending on office issue practices. The Issue Manager works with the sheet border and allows users to control the data and issue information of their title blocks without having to continually edit the title block. In order for the Issue Manager to function, there must be at least one title block or one sheet border with a title block in the file. To place a sheet border, you can use the Sheet Border tool in the DIMS Notes toolset. Go to the Sheet Border Preferences, select the title block, and manually place it on the desired sheet. In this particular file, I use the Sheet Border tool and place the title block on the desired layers already. Once the drawing border and title block have been placed, we can access the Issue Manager by going to File, Issue Manager. Be aware that the data displayed in each tab depends on the title block that was used. The Issue Manager does work with custom title blocks. However, in order for the Issue Manager to work with custom title blocks, the record format for that title block must be set up correctly. If you're unsure how to do this, please watch our video tech tip on creating custom title blocks. Currently, we're in the Project Data tab. This tab should be used for information that does not change on a sheet-by-sheet -sheet basis. Once you've input all your info, click OK, and the information from the Project Data tab will be applied to all title blocks. Now that we're done with the project data, let's go back to the Issue Manager, and this time go to the Sheet Data tab. This tab should be used for all information that will vary on a sheet-by-sheet -sheet basis, such as your drawing title or drawing number. To access all sheets that have a title block, you can use the next previous buttons on the bottom. As you can see, it changes to display the correct layer in the background as well. Now, at the bottom of the dialog box, check the Include in Current Issue option if you'd like the issue notes that are added to be placed on the selected sheet. Once we click OK, you can see that the different information has been added to each individual sheet as it was typed in. The last thing we're going to do is add some issue notes. To do this, go back to the Issue Manager and click on the Issue Data tab. If you don't want to attach any issue notes, uncheck this option. You can add your issue number. Your issue data is already added in, but it can be changed. Add your notes in the Issue Notes box. If you check Record to All Sheets, issue notes will be added to all sheets. If you check to record on checked sheets only, it will only be added to sheets that have Include on Current Issue checked. Click OK, and you'll see that notes were added to these specific sheets. Now, if the title block has been set up to include issue data, these notes will appear in the Issue Notes section. But whether or not the title block has an Issue Notes field, the info is still written to a record format that is attached to the sheet border, not the title block. The issue data becomes a permanent part of the border unless it's deleted. So if your current title block doesn't have issue data fields, and you edit the title block to add them, or use a title block that does have issue data fields, the issue data will then suddenly be shown. Thank you for joining us, and if you'd like more information on creating a custom title block, please see the custom title block video found on kbase.vectorworks.net. Thank you, and have a great day.